Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to an Outlaws of Thunder Junction draft best of three edition here on the channel. If you want to learn how to sideboard and how to adapt your gameplay for best for games two and three, this is the video for you. Oh, baby, we got a Geralt the Flesh Rite. I love this card. I literally just got to play a draft with him. He is so much fun. If you get a chance to play this card, I highly recommend it. Definitely worth a first pick. Because what you do with this card is you then take a bunch of plot spells and you just chain them all together in one glorious turn and just get like a bunch of zombies and it's super fun. World Waker's Helm is also really sweet. Um, oh, never mind. That's a different one. Um, token that's a copy of Tartarac Artifact. No, I'm thinking of a different one. Never mind. No, there's not really ones. And Archimage's Charm is pretty cool. Um... The common Deserts do is the best one. Honestly, I think Giralf is like the better pick than the Deserts do because even if you just go like, if you have like one plotted spell, then you go Giralf, play your plotted spell, you get a 2-2 two -two out of it. And that's a pretty big game, um, even if you're not going full combo-y. But Deserts do is quite good. But I love Giralf here. We'll see what we can do. Oh, baby, yes! Oh, what a start! This is a, for the perfect card with Giralf. Because what you do is you plot this guy, then you go, like, in the mid to late game, you go Geralf, or you have Geralf in play, you go, like, play a spell, slick shot lock picker, play that spell again, and you immediately get three spells for your Geralf. Oh my gosh, this is a great start. Blue is open, maybe. They're passing these cards. I think they took the, the card from the bonus sheet, so we can't get a huge signal read here, but this is awesome. Okie doke. We've already got two blue card so we might just follow it up with another blue card in the phantom interference um thunder salvo i don't know if i love that in this sort of deck i mean i will i like cards that draw me more cards this is like i mean take the fall is perfect for Giralf, but this might wheel there's also intrepid stable master but i can't kind of just want to keep taking blue cards really force my way into blue not that you really have to stable master is also good because extra mana is really nice hellspur brute can be good but i don't know if that's really where i want to go so I think it's between the Stable Master and the Phantom Interference. I might take the Stable Master. There's some pretty good plot spells in green that you can actually combine here. And it is a strong color. So I think this is the best pick. Okay. I'm actually pretty happy with that now. There's a Rise of the Varmints. So another kind of interesting kind of spell. There's also Mesa, Vale, Geyser Drake. I don't think Geyser Drake is worth taking. I think I'm just going to take Desert Stew. Now there's an Arid Archway. Great Train Iced. I kind of want to try Great Train Heist. It seems kind of interesting. It's cutesy, at least. Derailment's good. I kind of want to see if, if I can get this card to work. Like, play a bunch of small creatures. Get a bunch of treasures. Combo off with Geralf. Arid Archway could be good, too, but we're going to try the Train Heist. I like playing Best of Three as well, because you get to do some experimental stuff sometimes. This is a nice green card. I don't think Razzle Dazzler is very good. So we can just go green, blue. Could still try to do this. Card draw is great, I think. And I want to play blue, so this is exactly what I want. We, went, we hemmed and hawed a little bit, but I think we're locking into blue-green and then maybe we'll splash something. I might want to play 18 lands. I've been pretty happy playing 18 lands, and in those cases, card draw is good. Adios, Brian. Also, I am streaming this live on Twitch, so if you do want to uh, join in the fun at some point, you can check it out the Twitch stream. Um, but yeah, our draft is going pretty well, I'd say. 
this train heist was a bit more of an experimental pick. I love slick sequence when it works out. It is the sort of card I would splash. I might just take Seize the Secrets, though. I think blue-green is going to be better than blue-red. Because for my combo-y stuff, um, blue-green just gets me more lands into play. And helps me fix mana for splashing stuff. I've been coming up on Seize the Secrets. I think it's pretty decent if you can get it to work. And I might want to splash black at the end of the day. Or I could just go teamer. Late Prickly Pear. I think I'm just going to take the Harrier Strix, though. Maybe I'm supposed to take the Sequence at that one point. I don't know. I'm kind of combo building. I'm building a combo -y deck. Which means that I have, like, ooh, nice, I wield to take the fall. I'm just kind of building towards this Giralf, like, as much as I can. Wow, we got Rise back? Oh, that's huge. You don't really combo with Giralf on your opponent's turn. I also don't have a lot of creatures right now. Duelist of the Mind has been impressive to me, not going to lie. I kind of made a rule to myself that if I was in a two-color combo, I would take every desert that's on in that color, but I think Duelist of the Mind is enough better. Also, this card's great. I might just take this over Duelist. Duelist is good if you're like in an interactive like blue-black deck. My deck is going to have like one, two, like a few ways to commit crimes. But this card is exactly what you want with Geralf, because it's also another card that rewards you for playing a bunch of spells in the same turn, so you can kind of use the same combo -y elements with it. Okay, Lone Shark is just what the doctor ordered. I love Lone Shark in these decks. Um, I would I would maybe splash this. But Lone Shark is perfect. I'm not going to take the chance of it not wheeling. Breaches is kind of funny. I don't think there's enough artifacts to really make this work, but Breaches is a cutesy card. Just the more cards you can get with plot, the better. So you just plot a bunch of cards and cast them all at once. Have a nice dinner there, Alex. Guten Abend, as they say. Crackle with power. I'll take the scheme, I think. Hmm... Mm -hmm. I mean, this card's really good. I'm not going to miss the other one. I'll just speculate into red again. Love me this card. This card's fantastic. Cruel Ultimatum. Triple black is just too hard for me to get to. Maybe I'll take the Emergent Haunting. It plays well with all my plot cards. You kind of have to get this in pack one to build around it. I 
I could have taken the red blue card. It's funny because like the main reason I'm trying to avoid playing red is because I'll feel regret about passing some of the red cards I've seen. Like the red blue slick shot sequence or whatever it's called. So I don't even really regret that because I did get a seize the secrets, which I think is pretty decent anyway. Because you want a lot of cards in your hand. You want to take for giraffes. Ooh, nice! Outlaw Stitcher, huge. Getting another one of these guys is awesome. Pick six. Because now we really can go for the storm kind of combo -y stuff. So I really like the Seize the Secrets in that, show, in that sense. Gin of Fool's Fall. This is also kind of a combo card. Plot this. So you kind of have to play it at the end instead of during the sequence, which is annoying. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Plan the Heist. It's a plot card draw spell, so it's better than Seize. Okay. Stable Master is still good. Natural is still good. Rise, maybe good. We wield the blue green land. Let's go. I would love a Spinewoods Paladin, but we need the mana. I don't look a gift horse in the mouth twice. Perfect. We got their interaction. Razzle Dazzler. Nice. Nobody wants to play blue, so we're getting all the blue cards. It's perfect. Okay. Wow. What an awful pack. I guess we get throw from the saddle. That's a pretty good card. Not that awful, but... Not what it could. I mean, this is actually a pretty good pick. I was I was thinking about like blue combo y cards. Maybe we'll wield this one. Do I have any crime payoffs? No crime payoffs, but we're okay. Stop cold is okay, but it, throw from the saddle is just better. There's a lone shark. Maybe we'll wield the free strider commando. This guy. Do I have legendaries? I have one. This is a hilarious card in this sort of deck. Um, Yeah. The last time I played this thing, it was a blue-black deck. Blue-green might actually be a better home, a better fit. There's a lot more good plot cards. Oh, I really want to try this card. It's going to wheel, though. It's going to wheel. I can take this. I could take this. I'm not really an Aloe Alchemist deck. I love Cactarantula as well. I think I'm just going to take Phantom Interference for some more interaction. Map the Frontier would be playable, too, to help me get more mana for my combo -y stuff. I really hope this wheels, because I would play it. Just for the, for the joy. This is a good card for comboing as well. We'll just take the mana ramp guy though. Love Visage Bandit in these decks, it's so good. Copying Outlaw Stitcher is the best thing to do with this card pretty much. Treasure or another rise. My creature count is pretty decent. Or I could just take another seize. I don't think I want two rise of the vomit, so I'll just take another seize here. Gold rush is also fine. Imps, imps mischief. We're going to take the High Noon. Got to get the Hate Draft out of there. Can't let them bring that in against us. I'm just cutting all the non-essential cards. This card is now an essential combo piece with these guys. Because you just like play a card, play your Outlaw Stitcher, play this, and you just cruise in. Hate 
Carrier Strix is not doing much in my deck. Yes! 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 Oh, I'm going to try this. It's going to be so satisfying. It's going to be bad, but it's going to be fun. When you have as much card draw as me, this card does not do what you want. Yeah, you saw somebody cast Step Between Worlds before? That's awesome. So we're basically building our deck out here. We have a little bit of interaction. Honestly, not much interaction. But we have the Jailbreak schemes that will probably play all of them. Just so we don't die. I've been a huge fan of 18 lands, and in this deck especially, I'll want 18, I think. Because I have so many like clunky 4-drops to play. So, here's how we're going to build this. My creature count is currently at 11. I don't think that's near enough for this. I have 17 lands. I'm going to want to go up to an 18th. Probably a green spell. So I go up to... I'll have 11 blue sources, 8 green sources. So I have 5 slots that. I think... Okay, I'm just cutting all the cards that aren't like guaranteed to make the cut. You take the falls pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, all these cards are guaranteed in. This card's perfect for my deck. Okay. So now we'll go in. First things first, I need interaction. So I'm going to add all three of these. Step one, complete. Next, I might need some mana. So I'm going to add in this guy. And then I want card draw so I can set up my combos. Um, I have four two drops essentially. Yeah, I don't want Razzle Dazzler. I think I want this. And I'm also tempted to just take, put in one plot card. Like a Jin. I'm just putting the secrets number two for now help with my flooding potentially this is going to be awesome step between worlds we're building storm i'd never do this but storm we've named our deck this deck is awesome i am so excited to play it i'll see you in the games before i get to the games i want to give a huge shout out to all of the patrons who support the nikolai bolas channel at patreon.com slash nikolai bolas it is thanks to Patreon support that I'm able to make as many videos as I do. And I really do appreciate everybody who contributes towards the success of the channel. If you're enjoying my videos and would like to support my content directly, Patreon is the best way to do so. And you gain access to some cool perks along the way, such as access to my card by card tier list for each set and other cool benefits. Special shout out to those patrons who support my channel at the credits level. I really do appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get to the games. Welcome to round one. Remember, it's best of three, so we're going to have a nice, slow game. Ooh, perfect. We've got our Jeralf already. <sighs> We've got, like, the perfect combo deck. They are some gorgeous lands, I agree, Sitar. Oh! Oh, we are so doing it. Oh, we are so doing it! Oh my gosh!
We've got our mana ramp, which we wanted. Sure, Lazav. This could end badly for me. They can kill my Giralf. But my hand is somewhat forced here. In order to go for sweet things, you have to hope they don't have interaction sometimes. Which they always have the interaction in this format especially, but... You murdered him! So if they commit another crime, they get to exile my Giralf. I'm just hoping that my Giralf gets to shuffle back in here. Lazav being graveyard hate is so mean! Ah, the classic Erinx Lazav deck. They're doing something wild over there. I want to have the first crack at my spells when I when they come off of that. So next turn, I just want to draw a land, I think. <laughs> this guy's going to be huge. Here comes our turn. This is it. Okay. They are just playing all sorts of cards. They're playing like Esper or something. This skin is going to get seven, which is kind of funny. Thank you. 
Okay, am I winning? I don't know. I have more mana in play. That was a sick turn. I didn't even get to draw my Outlaw Stitcher, which I was really hoping to get. The Stitcher is really good. Because I would have been able to get like an 8-8 zombie or something. So they're just playing Esper Control. Sure. Four mana, six six, no big deal. Plus a one four. They can actually deal some damage to me with this attack, which is kind of funny. But if they don't kill my uh, six six, I just kill them. I think, make it unblockable. I have four other block attackers. Maybe I should have ditched the Duelist of the Mind with my, um, maybe I should have gotten rid of that with my removal spell instead of the Erinx. So they gain one life. We got the win! Yes! Even if they had gained three life to go to 11, they'd still be dead. Wait, no, they're 7, 8, 9, 10. They would not be dead. Okay, so against the controlling deck, I just want more extra card draw. What do I not need? So I bring an extra card draw and get rid of a gardener maybe because they have a lot of removal. Emergent haunting seems a little bit tough to use, but it's a cheap spell. I definitely wouldn't want to bring in varmints because they have graveyard hate.
Yeah, I'll do like this. Maybe I should have just brought in more card draw on the play. The deck is already a pretty finely tuned machine. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and hanging out with me this Sunday. It's a real nice time. Great to have you all here. If you folks haven't ever heard of my YouTube channel, you can find it here. Okie doke. We'll keep this. We're on team Never Mulligan. Their curve is spectacular. Leave it on top, okay. I'm just gonna cast this. It blocks the trained airings as a 1-4. It's not the best play ever, but it'll do in a pinch. And it gives me something to use with throw from the saddle. Okay. I could have technically gone for um, Jailbreak Scheme this turn, and then the following turn gone for the Lone Shark play or whatever. They leave it on top. Okay. I'll get rid of this thing later. Okay, do your worst opponent. Hmm. Yep.
I guess I should have done this in the opposite order. Plan the Heist is looking real good in this deck. Real happy to have that. Okay, they keep that on top, okay. Interesting. One, two, three, so I can make a six, six. Oh, this also buffs up this guy. Nice. And I have one, two, three, six, thirteen, fifteen power in play. I'm dead to a crime land, but my board state is awesome, so. Yes! Oh my gosh, look how many powers of zombies we've got. We've got 8, 11, 12, 13, 22 powers worth of zombies. Woo! What a win. See you next round. Time to round two, we'll keep this. Remember, best of three. Uh, I have 11 blue sources. No! Feels bad to mulligan to five, but you know, such is life. We're setting up some stuff. We're 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 brewing here. I'm probably gonna lose this game. Mulling to five is hard.
It's so greedy to go for the patient naturalist line. I'm just going to go for this one. That's so messed up! They had Path to Exile? But my, my zombie token, I was gonna be big. Okay. Lick lock picker flashing back the plan the heist could be good. This is all on a mold of five. I'm taking him down. Keeping this guy around for sure. Say a five power. I don't think I could have survived it if I didn't do this line, but I do wish I could have waited. No! Sure, I'll go to one. Except the fact that I'm dead to any crime land.
Every land drop, I'm afraid, of a crime land. Sure, possum does nothing. Now I get to loot and turn my thing over. No interaction, no interaction, no interaction, no interaction, no interaction, no interaction. To be fair, I think they would have used it to kill Garolf if they had it a while ago. No! Oh my gosh. We were so close to winning that. I guess if I chump blocked their 5-6, I might have won't be able to win. Okay, so they're an aggressive deck. They have a lot of vigilance. That was so close. I was literally like one turn away, I think, from taking over. That was on a mold of five. This hand is incredible. Yep, I figured the cow was coming. Pretty big draw there to keep myself afloat.
there. It's almost like drawing two cards if I just pass because I'm looting away both these lands that are useless. So the reason I did it that way is because I'm going to get to cast the Se Seize of the Secret so I get an extra damage in this way anyway. Okay, I kind of got the ground locked up. Just about dealing with this holy cow now. I don't know if I can play this because I have some key cards I really want to draw. I probably have to just to get the blocker down. Sure. I don't think I can cast this until I find my, um, sweep, my shuffle everything back in card. This is only game two. Though to be fair, game one was a mulligan. Exactly what I want. Yep. They keep it on top.
shirt. Okay, so next turn is going to be my miracle turn. Because I'm going to be able to see every card in my deck. No! They get two planes. Hopefully this works. Five cards, so I'm going to draw three. I have one, two, three, four. Let's get myself extra ground blockers. Maybe I should have plotted this instead of that one. Yeah, that would have been better. I'll do that. Seems good to me. If they hit their path to exile, it's going to be sad. Gosh.
Dang it. So three, six, seven, eight. I'm so sad they killed my Giralf. Oh my gosh. It's sad because green white can't kill Giralf at instant speed. I, except, except their deck has two instants that can do it. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, we had a sweet turn lined up. I would have I cast four extra spells after Giralf died, pretty much. I'm remembering why I didn't want to put that card on top before. <laughs> Dang it, I needed this guy last turn. Um... We'll go down swinging. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blockers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten attackers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. So he gets through, and then they, my four smallest get through. So one, two, three, four. So he would get through for ten. And so if they don't have anything else, then they would get through for one. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attackers other than him. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six. Almost messed that up. Yeah, three smallest. Now it should be enough, I think. Because now the crabs are real attackers. They're at 11. And I have. 
have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 attackers. And they have 3, 4, 5, 6 blockers. So this is Xaxes. I could lose if they have a spell, of course. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yes! Oh my gosh, we managed to win the miracle game. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna bring in some gins to help block that, or just one gin. Oh my gosh. On the draw with 18 lands, I shouldn't need the Naturalist. And it, like, a pretty big deal if I mill my card. Like, I couldn't cast it at one point in that game. They're on the mulligan now. Maybe they'll mull the five. Justice. Gosh, that was crazy. Yes! The crab is so good here. They don't have white mana. I don't know why I've been playing so many forests instead of islands. I'm probably getting too cutesy here.
Yes! Oh, we got the win. Let's just see how much more we were going to be able to do there. We were going to be able to play this guy, make a 4-4 four, four with this. And then play this guy and make a 5-5 five, five with this. And uh, it's fifth spell, right? Jeez Louise. I wonder if it's better to play this earlier in the sequence because that individual zombie is smaller, but every one of these zombies is bigger. So how many spells did I cast that turn? I'd cast one, two. So I, I started off by casting the Geralf. So I went Geralf, one, two, three. And then I could have gone four, five. So this would have been two tokens for each one. Yeah, that was awesome. What a win! We're into the finals. See you folks there. Welcome to the final round. We're undefeated here. Got a keeper. Naturalist is such an awkward card in my deck. I, unless I mill it specifically lick, uh, slick shot lock picker and the card, though, it shouldn't matter. And the, the, the wheel card. Maybe make him play off curve a little bit. That's kind of a non-bow. They get to use their range to put it back. I messed that up. <laughs> so I don't mind. I've got my step between worlds I'm setting up. Next turn, I hope I draw one more spell so I can just set up my thing even slightly better. Especially if it's a plot card. Like, I can go Naturalist, plot something. I should have played this instead of the, this that one turn. Okay. Big draw step for me here. That's actually really nice. Getting a treasure is actually pretty nice here. Oh, that was a crazy match, RTF. Thanks for stopping by the chat. My gosh, that game was insane. Okay, I messed that one up. I'm going to bring in the Rope Master here for this matchup. If I had just played the Naturalist instead of the Jailbreak Scheme, I think that would have worked out a lot better for me.
I think I can cut haunting. Okay, we'll play first. Great hand. Or at least a decent hand, it's passable. Just trying to cantrip, make sure I hit my lands. I like their sleeves, Thundering Titan for the win. This is such a greedy line, but I love it. It makes me very happy. Even if they kill my guy in response, it's fine. Oh, they did it on purpose. To give the guy to get their guy back into play but hit me for extra damage. That was an intentional play by them. I'm actually out of gas. I need to draw one of my card draw spells. Left it on top, that's fair. Oh, I'm so happy that that trade happened. Oh my gosh. Those guys were scary. No, don't kill my canyon crab.
You know what I'd love to do right now, just about now, is plan a heist. I love planning the heists. Of course, when I have no cards in hand, it's a great time to plan a heist. I'll seize some secrets, too. Seizing secrets is also something that's fun to do. Sure. Yes! Between Worlds is happening. Getting a treasure is actually so much better for me here. It's crazy. I actually legitimately want my outlaw stitcher and my my outlaw stitchers to die, which is pretty funny. So they have three, four, eight lands in play. I have nine lands in play. We both have nine lands in play. Oh, this is a huge mistake from them. I want to get that back into circulation. I really hope they don't have an instant speed kill spell. That would make this so much less cool. Like, before I do anything, they kill him. That just messed up. Because this is going to be an awesome turn. <laughs> oh, you have a clear shot? Oh, you're kidding me. No! Please draw him again. Hmm. I like it when the glass shatters. <sighs> Dang it. It was going to be so cool. Why did their last card have to be a kill spell that killed two of my guys? I 
I won't forget this opponent. Oh, you can bet yourself I won't. They have six eleven mana. Griff, okay. Sure. Sure. No, I forgot to play a land. Oh my gosh. Wow, not playing that land last turn is going to cost me. Gosh, the fact that their last card was a kill spell is so brutal. I had it all ready to go. This is such an aggressive attack. Okay. They have 14 life. One, two, three, four blockers. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attackers. If only I had this guy in play. So I have seven attackers. Four blockers. I can kill a blocker. Then they have three blockers. I'll have seven attackers. So four are getting through. Which is not good enough. They should have tapped my Stable Master. Wow, not playing that one land that one turn could cost me the match. Or the game, at least. I mean, maybe not. But What's really going to cost me the game is that stupid six-mana instant. 
I should have baited them into using it. Like, I should have just triple blocked the Cactarantula. Not bothered with trying to get my Outlaw Stitcher back in the deck. It was so greedy. So needlessly greedy. Okay. No. That was a unbelievably bad draw there. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I only have one land left in my entire deck. Hmm. <laughs> If I'd drawn that, I think I would have won. Put this thing back on top. Buff up my shark. Hit them for four. All they have to do is remember how Sterling Keykeeper works. Oh, did I punt this game? I think if I had, uh, when they attacked with the Cactarantula, if I had triple blocked or quadruple blocked, I would have won. Because they would have used their kill spell then because they didn't know I had the Stitcher coming. And I would have been able to then get about a billion more tokens off of my Stitcher. They still would have had Cactarantula. I think what I had the option of doing was I had um, Outlaw Stitcher, Patient Naturalist, and the other Outlaw Stitcher that was a 1-4 in play. So I could have triple blocked with those. And all three of them might have died, which would have got all of the Stitchers into my deck. Um, dang it. I mean, 2-1 and one is pretty fun for that deck, but I'm greedy and I wanted more. Um, and I think if I'd done that, I mean, I wasn't playing around the six mana thing. I was just playing around like, oh, I don't think I, I probably, I probably didn't. I don't even think I thought about what they could have at all. Actually, I was probably, I think I was thinking that they had like plus one, plus one and indestructible or something. And so like triple blocking just like feeds into that. And they were, they like might use it anyway to just gain the life before I shuffle everything away or whatever. Um, cause that's a far more commonly played card, but yeah, um, that was a tough loss. Tough loss indeed. Um, almost got there. But also just not playing the land that one turn it caused me to take extra damage from the Congregation Griff, which was, was troublesome. 
though the board was so stalled out and I'd already used my step between worlds combo, like with the Giralf, that it wasn't necessarily going to get there. But if you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave hashtag storm in the comment section down below to let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video because that was a awesome storm. Um, step between worlds was sweet. Giralf was sweet. The combo between them was sweet. Just like the classic double, double, like rare plus mythic rare combo that you live for. Um, we didn't get there quite there in that last game, but it was razor close. We were so close to getting there, and um, yeah, we had some really epic matches, especially match two where we had that insane game. That's going to do it for this one, though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more, comment with your questions, thoughts, and feedback. But that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time.